Welcome to Mosaic Arts Online. I'm Tammy McCullough, and I would like to introduce to you a very talented artist and instructor, Ariana Gallo of Coco Mosaico. I came all the way to Italy to film Ariana's courses and to give you guys a more authentic experience and bring Ravenna Italy to you. Ariana, thank you so much for allowing us to come here to the studio and film your courses. Thanks to you that you came uh, here in Ravenna. I'm so excited and I'm very happy for uh, this new experience. Yes, this course is incredible. We've already filmed the course, so now you get to see a little bit of inside the course and hear a little bit about Ariana's uh, background. Yes, uh, so I'm going to teach exactly the traditional technique. So we are going to see also probably something that could be difficult to find uh, uh, abroad Italy, uh, um, out of Italy. Mm -hmm. uh, that could be the wood, uh, uh, the wood temporary frame that we are going to use and uh, the lime putty itself and also the rabbit glue. But uh, no worry because I'm going to show you all the options. So we are going to trace uh, the um, first uh, tracing drawing uh, using this uh, glassine paper following all the andamento and this will be our uh, posit positive. And then we are going to flip it to put on, on it another piece of glassine paper and we are going to trace again all the lines uh, by using a different pen uh, water so with water soluble ink with this second drawing that is very very important for this technique we are going to transfer the entire drawing onto our uh, temporary base that could be lime or clay in the next step that will be the cutting of the material and uh, making it uh, easier and, uh, and this technique is good because you can even change something. For example, you work very hard one day and the day after you realize that mm, mm -hmm. maybe you, you wrong something, the color, you would like to change a few pieces. And so with this technique, you can, you can fix everything. You can remove entire andamento, for example, if you don't like a color or how you did it. When you are sure that everything is okay, the next step is gluing the mosaic with this cotton gauze. And you can glue it with uh, the rabbit glue. You are, we, I am going to show you how to do it. Or that is easier uh, with the flour and water glue. And they behave exactly the same. And uh, when the glue is dry and you know it because you can touch the surface and so when it's dry, you, uh, we are going to remove it. So to detach all the entire mosaic with lime or clay, we are going to detach everything, flip it over, clean, and then a uh, thin set. And then we put a thin set in the back of the mosaic. We put this thin set uh, in the permanent uh, frame. Mm -hmm. That could be a uh, wedding board, could be wood, uh, uh, mar marine wood. And then we clean off the, um, the gauze after that, correct? Exactly, by using water. Hot water, it helps more. And uh, the rabbit glue and and also the uh, water and flour glue uh, washes, off. washes off very, very easily. That's right. And so then the very end is decide, you decided in the beginning to make this what you call your fragmented style. Yes. But you can also do it like this one in a frame. It can be done either way. So at the very end, Ariana goes into a great demonstration of how to make your edges look really beautiful with thin set. So it is completed once it gets the thin set around the edges. Exactly. Is there anything else that we need to share about this uh, exciting? course yes uh, I I would like to say that my big inspiration yes. yes of course my big inspiration as I told at the beginning is uh, is uh, the the ancient uh, mosaics for sure because sometimes when I'm uh, short of ideas uh, I cross the street and I go to Basilica di Santa Polinare Nuovo and I always find 
an inspiration, something that helps me not just in making copies, of course, uh, but help, helps me al also in making new projects, really. And uh, but my other inspiration are also my colleagues because you know in Ravenna there are a lot of uh, mosaic artists very good that I really respect and the, my favorite artist mm -hmm. <laughs> is who is <laughs> is my husband. <laughs> I always say that, uh, say that my I am the number one fan of Luca Barberini. <laughs> you can't not be. And if you don't know who Luca is, you can look him up. But he does a very, very special type of art that is using all these materials in a very special storytelling way. And so you guys are such a good complement of how you are inspired by ancient mosaics. And what I wanted to say that I learned while being here in Ravenna, other than being so inspired, is how much you can study this work and see and understand the gradations and the color and the andamento. It's really right there in a almost more simplified way. And I feel like a lot of mosaic artists can take a step back and learn this technique to help them move forward in more projects. But learning those simple methods that you teach in this course is really, really important and well um, presented in a very step-by-step -step manner. So I can't thank you enough for letting <laughs> us, Mosaic Arts Online, Jerry and Tammy, come here to Coco Mosaico and be able to share this with everybody. Thank you very much. And I can't wait to see some works uh, of the students. And I will be happy to answer to any question. Please write in the comment sections. And thank you. Thank you very much for this wonderful experience. Yeah, thank you, Ariana.